Hi everyone. In this video, I will show you how to make this blanket. It's so easy to make and it's so soft. Uh, you can use it uh, as a lafgan or baby blanket or uh, you can make a, a bed cover uh, with this stitch if you want. Um, it's so useful stitch, I think, and um, so simple border. I hope you like this tutorial. And Mishvik likes <laughs> it very much. <laughs> I couldn't hold him. He wants to be uh, loved by me again. <laughs> and uh, for this blanket, I use this yarn. Utopia Minique. I use a little more than three balls of yarn, but um, that's not a big blanket. I want to give the measurements. It's 26 inch long. It's a square uh, and 66 uh, centimeters. Uh, I think you want to make it bigger, uh, so you will need more yarns. And I use 5.5 millimeter crochet hook with that. And if you have any question about this stitch, uh, you can just leave comments. Uh, if you are ready, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And let's start. I want to give you a little information about this yarn. It's 140 meters. It recommends four millimeter crochet hook, uh, but um, I think that's a thick yarn. So I use 5.5 millimeter. That's four size, a thicker four size yarn, I think. I will start with a slip knot. and make 80 chains your chains must be multiples of 3 plus 2 only one time you can make it uh, as you want like that 80 chain uh, will be like 60 centimeters for me and I want to make the edge, so that's enough for me. I will start like that. Make your chains and I'll see you. I complete the 80 chains. Now yarn over. Skip 1, 2, 3, 4 chains and into that fifth one. Insert your hook. Grab the yarn. Yarn over, pull it through from two loops. Yarn over and pull it through from second two loops. That's a V stitch. Yarn over again. Skip two. Into the third stitch. Insert. Make a double crochet. Chain one. And into that same stitch, make one more double crochet. That's a V stitch. Skip two into the third one. Make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip two into the third one make a double crochet chain one double crochet just keep making these stitches. I'll see you at the end of the row I'm at the end of the row I will skip two and into that last stitch make a double chain one 
Et top. Finish this row like that. Chain 3, turn and make a double crochet into the, that waist stitch. Now into this next V stitch here, make 3 double crochet. 1, 2, 3. Into that next, make 3. Into that one, make three. And make three. That's the repeat of this row. Just put three double crochets for all the one chain space you have. Complete this row like that. I'm at the end of the row. I will make one double crochet here and one double crochet into that third chain. One, two, three, four double crochet, uh, four chains, sorry, and turn. And into that first stitch, make one more double crochet. That's my first V. Skip two and into that third stitch into that middle uh, stitch as you see make a V skip two into the third stitch make a double crochet chain one a double crochet skip two into the third one double crochet chain one a double crochet skip two and make the same finish this row like that I came to the end and into that third chain I will make a double crochet chain one double crochet chain three turn and make a double crochet here and into that one chain space make three double crochet into the next one chain space make three double crochet that's easy as you see we will just repeat these two rows again and again uh, I will make it a little and then uh, we will make the edge. I made it 22 inch long. It's 22 high and weight. Uh, it's a square. First thing you need to do is uh, finding the uh, right side of your work. Actually, that's the right side. If you are looking the first a stitch for to find the right side that's the right side but these double crochets look bad uh, from this side so I will use this side uh, for as the right side and uh, so I will start from here by the way I finish with a V stitch row here I'll start from here and make my edge chain three and turn and into that same place make a double crochet chain two and into same place make two more double crochet and that's our corner insert into that chain space make a double crochet into here make a double crochet into this next stitch make a double 
chain one space double crochet stitch this double crochet stitch and chain one space and keep making like that put one double crochet for all the stitches. I'll see you at the corner I'm at the end I made one uh, double crochet here and I will make one more into that third chain actually not one more I will make two double crochet into same chain two chain and two double crochet and turn I will put a double crochet around or inside this double crochet I will put a double crochet into that st stitch here one into double crochet one into this stitch uh, it's like two double crochet uh, for one row you can think it like that you can make two of it uh, into that double crochet stitch double crochet here make one more then into this next one make two again But I like to do it like that. I will put one for here, one into that stitch. I made my double crochet into this stitch. Just keep making like that. Finish this row. Uh, at the corner you will make the same thing two double crochet two chain two double crochet into same stitch uh, finish this row like that I'm at the end of the row and I will join from this chain I totally made 80 double crochets for all the uh, sides actually there isn't 80 uh, stitches it's like 76 or 7 it's like something like that I add three more stitches three or four more stitches uh, make uh, make them uh, in a place I want you can make it like that uh, you are not have to make it like that uh, at the same time um, it's not too important and I'll make slip stitches one, two time, chain three, make a double crochet, chain two, make two more double crochet. Starting from the first stitch, I will make double crochets. And I will make it a few more rows. It's up to you. When you reach the corner, you will make the same thing. Two double crochet, two chain, two double crochet into uh, this corner stitch. Just keep making like that. Uh, I'll see you when I finish. I made it for three rows and that's enough for me because my blanket is uh, not too big. If I made this too thick, uh, it looks bad, maybe. So that's enough. If you make it big, you can make here a uh, big two. Chain one, and I will make a single crochet here. Into the next one, a single crochet again. And into that space, make a single crochet. Then chain two, make a picot 
insert here and here. Grab the yarn, make a slip stitch. Into the same space, make one more. Into the next stitch, make a single crochet, and next stitch, make a single crochet. One, two, three. Into the third stitch, make a picot. One, two, three, and a picot. One, two, three, pico. Just keep making like that. I'll see you at the corner. I'm almost at the corner. I will make one, two, three, and make a pico. Then one into the this, uh, chain space, two, three, and make a pico. We will make the corners like that. Uh, go ahead and finish this row, finish the blanket. I'm at the end, and that's my last pico. Cut the yarn. I will insert from this first stitch here and into that last stitch <laughs> and I will hide the yarn just sit, sit. and that's finish i hope you like this tutorial if you like please don't forget to push the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel since crochet is my instagram my pinterest and website address you can reach me there too and thanks for watching me hope to see you again have a nice day